and I said, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Where we could learn to snatch and slay and maybe steal someone's husband. <laughs> I would not steal someone's husband. I am not a home wrecker. But with this wig, they might be looking though. Mm, I'm a mess. my channel or welcome if you are new so today I am going to be showing you how to slay a wig for beginners so before we get into the details um, this wig was sent to me from hair spells it is a Brazilian 24 inch lace front wig I apologize if it's noisy this just so happens to be one of the very few days where it's actually sunny outside and of course there's a storm going on, so it's like hecka noisy. Anyways, let me just get into the good and the bad points about this hair. So, a first of all, I'm not joking when I say this is the best, like, pre-plucked lace that I've ever had in my life. I didn't have to do anything, and I wanted to do, like, a video where I showed you guys how to, like, slay a wig and, like, pluck the lace and all that stuff, but this was one of the like few wigs that I've ever had in my life where I didn't need to pluck it so it was just like yeah we say this is a great wig for beginners because the hairline is like legit already plucked usually on the website it'll say pre-plucked boop you didn't do nothing um very nice hair it's quite long this is like the ideal beginner wig I'm telling you like I really love it the only only thing that I do not like is this party I did not check I didn't check but I am pretty sure this is not four inches of parting space it is a lace front though and keep in mind obviously you can customize everything the size of the cap how much lace how much density Everything can be customized, so it's not a bad part on the company, but overall, obviously I love it. The first thing you need to do to slay your wig is bleach the knots. Now this is optional. Many people don't even know what knots are. Knots are basically those little black dots on the lace where the hair was tied to the lace. Um, if you bleach these, it looks more realistic, like the hair follicles are growing out of your scalp. The developer, I'm using 30 volume developer, you can use any volume, just the higher the, the higher the developer, the stronger and faster it's going to bleach the hair. Also I have some bleaching powder, I use the one from Clarisol. Also going to be needing some red and gold corrector. This is completely optional, it just helps take out that brassy tone that happens when you bleach hair. I have some clips for pinning back the hair, and something to mix everything in. Let's get started. I'm gonna put about like a half of a scoop to start. I don't think I'm gonna need that much. And you really wanna put just a little bit of the developer. You don't want it to be too runny. So just start off with a little at first and then slowly work your way up. Yeah, this is perfect. So you want it a consistency where it doesn't come off of the brush very easily. Once you get it the consistency that you like, you're going to then add about eight to ten drops of the red and gold again this is totally optional and i'm probably not even counting because you know <laughs> it's me it's super purple now but we're gonna wait until it turns to a light pink color all right it's pretty light now as you can see it's like a light pink color i waited maybe two or three minutes now we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the lace i'm gonna put this on lightly if I could give you some advice, I would say start at the back and work your way up. So try not to press this into the lace, just gently put it on. I would suggest watching this. You don't need to put it under heat. You don't need to put foil on it. You don't even need to cover it with some plastic. I basically just watch it. Um, somewhere between five to 10 minutes should be good. Sometimes it takes 
a little bit longer. These knots were very small, so I'm guessing this is only gonna take like five minutes. We're waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting. After you've bleached your lace and you have washed it out and conditioned the hair, you really want to part it in the part that you wanna wear it. Um, I usually do a middle part, but I was trying something new and I did side part for this one. And you're gonna let this air dry, but by parting it while it's wet, it's really gonna help keep that shape and make it a lot more flat. As you can see, this hairline is like done. And I'm not saying like the factory done, I'm like, like I have never seen a hairline done that well. After it has air dried, you can go on ahead and pluck the hairline if you need to. Usually I would just take a few inches off the top, like so, and I would start plucking here. We are going to cut some baby hairs. I know some people don't like it. I personally need them. So you just take a small section like that and you're going to cut thing here. Take a little and cut. Again, this is optional. If you don't like the whole baby hair look, you do not have to do this. I like to leave the little piece by the ear kind of long, like not too short. So I'm gonna cut it about maybe here. Next, you can use any type of foaming mousse. I just got this one just to slick down the edges. And just swoop these whatever way that you like them. All right, I'm gonna let this sit until it dries and then we will continue. After this, I'm going to cut off the lace. Also had lace in the back. I'm gonna cut that off too. The next step is to sew in some elastic bands. You can easily just put one thicker elastic band from ear to ear. I usually do two thin ones, one here and one here. Now keep in mind, if you put one way up here, you are not gonna be able to wear the hair fully back because it will kind of show as you can see but I never pull my hair all the way back so it doesn't matter for me. How you put this in is this way. Just set it in and I usually put one right about here and then one again that's like right above the ear on each tab. So you can totally just put this one if you'd like. This one will show if you are pulling all the hair back. Usually I sew in a comb in the back, but this wig came with a comb in the back and adjustable straps, so I didn't have to do that. Again, another reason why this is a great beginner wig. I also like to um, put some concealer or some foundation on the lace just to make everything look a lot more realistic, you know. Shut up out there, Storm. The weather is being crazy outside, so sorry if it's noisy or the light keeps changing. But I'm gonna go in with some eco styling gel. You could use whatever gel you have, and I'm gonna slick those a little bit. Just a little bit. I like my baby hairs a little bit more defined. I'm gonna go in and flat iron the hair just a little bit. Next, I am going to. Next, I'm gonna go in with my wand and I'm only doing the front piece right here. Take the wand, put it on the back of the hair and wrap around. I'm only framing my face with curls. This hair curls really well. If you have any questions, I'm not surprised. Not really good at explaining stuff. Yeah, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to check out this hair, links will be down below as well. As I said, I absolutely love it. 
and um, it's really great if you are just starting out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe so I can make more videos, and yeah! See you guys next time!